full of energy, full of life. The smile that radiated from her face, I mean, it just lit up the room. Gary born grieves. His 40-year-old daughter, Nicole, died last Sunday, a victim of the virulent H3N2 flu strain, he says. The Voorhees mother of two had been active, healthy. Now, as her parents prepare for their daughter's funeral, they've got a message for everybody. Get a flu shot. If you're feeling ill, if you're sick, don't wait. Don't become a statistic like my daughter. It's not just flu. Flu is a serious disease. Influenza as a virus can kill, and we've always known that. Dr. Susan Walsh oversees the community medical program at Jersey City Medical Center Barnabas Health, where staffers sat down for free flu shots today. Most claim they just couldn't find time to go get vaccinated before. I've been working three to 11 shifts, so I haven't had the time to come in during the day. Naomi Dagodat says having free flu shots available in the cafeteria during lunch break definitely grabs people's attention, but so do headlines about the current flu epidemic. Everybody's getting sick, and I'm scared to be one of those people. The flu is now in New Jersey. We know it's at higher levels in New Jersey. It does look like this is going to be a serious flu uh, season compared to the last couple of years. What drives that? It, it's really driven by exactly which flu is sort of floating through the area. The CDC says this year's predominant flu virus, H3N2, did mutate, so the flu shot's not as effective as in prior years. And H3N2 spreading fast. New Jersey reported 14 cases of the strain in the week ending December 20th, 60 total. That jumped to 52 cases during the week ending January 3rd, totaling 190 cases. The state's north and central areas show severe levels of flu activity, the south moderate activity. The CDC's Dr. Tom Frieden says H3N2 sending more seniors over age 65 to the hospital than in regular flu seasons. H3N2 is a nastier flu virus than the other flu viruses and years that have H3N2 predominance tend to have more hospitalizations and sadly more deaths. Frieden urged adults to get vaccinated against bacterial pneumonia, one of the flu complications Gary Bourne says led to Nicole's death. The CDC today also advised health care providers to aggressively treat confirmed and even suspected flu cases with antiviral flu medications like Tamiflu and Relenza. They work but they aren't being used nearly enough. They can reduce symptoms, shorten the duration of illness. They could keep you out of the hospital and might even save your life. Finally, Frieden says, get a flu shot. The shot doesn't really hurt, although doctors say some people might experience mild flu symptoms like fatigue, soreness, or fever, but that's nothing compared to the real flu. In Jersey City, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.